Hi guys, it's DJ here from Coders RC and today we got a gift box in the workshop. I'm so excited to open it up. I already know a little bit what's inside, but I'm very curious how it looks like. So let's open it up. A huge thank you to Raf from Poland. Raphael, thank you very much. I'm so appreciative that you sent me this package. I cannot wait to open it up. So let's go. Be careful that I don't damage the contents. Awesome. Okay guys, so what we have here is some 3D printed parts. Because Raphael sent me a 3D printed version of my Mini Mono. I think he actually even sent two of them. This looks impressive already. So of course the Mini Mono drawing is made by me. And based on the John Finch Wild thing. Then Raphael took my drawing. He made a 3D design. And he optimized it for 3D printing. I think he made three or four designs until he was totally happy with it. So this is the last version. He even put some sweets. <laughs> nice. Oh, actually I love sweets, so I'm definitely going to try this. I will not try it now because <laughs> you will not understand what I will say. Okay, let's see here. Let's be careful. Wow. It's like a puzzle. That's great. Let's try if it fits carefully. I will not push it all the way. I will take my time for that, but wow, it looks awesome. And the quality is also very nice. So this is probably the, the support of the deck. Ah, okay. So this is basically the same for the second version. Wow. This is a carbon rod for reinforcing the hull, I think. Nice. Wow. Raf, you even put some fasteners there. Thank you so much. So what else do we got? Let's open this up. Wow, great. So this part over here is the transom. And uh, I discussed the design with Raf of the Mini Mono. And he even implemented some spray rails and some strakes. So that's awesome. My wooden mini mono doesn't have these options. So yeah, I'm really curious how this will run with the spray rails and strakes. And it looks very nice. Feels strong too. Oh, I guess this is for the carbon tube. Two transoms. Put them here. Then what else? Oh, great. Oh, wow. Even three pieces of the cockpit. That's awesome. It even has to cut out for the window. It makes painting it very easy. And then this is the midsection. So it goes like this fits right in and you can see the Strix design nice so Raf he sends this parts totally for free I owe you Raf thank you very much and it even says Cozy RC Mini Mono that's such a nice detail okay the second midsection and this must be the back part of the cockpit, also three of them. So I guess these have to be fastened with some screws and then you got the cockpit shape, something like this. Nice. All right. So a lot of my viewers requested for a 3D printed build on my channel. And uh, well, I don't own a 3D printer, so so far I didn't or I couldn't make one and uh, I'm talking with Raf for a while now and he has a Bamboo Lab 3D printer 
And yeah, he offered me to send a free sample or actually two free samples of my Cozy Mini Mono. He also sent me these race drivers earlier. And um, that is just perfect for my vintage F1, which I still have to build. Just look how it fits in the cockpit. It's perfect. Raf, I really appreciate it. Also these race drivers, they look great. And uh, with some paint on it and of course uh, painted cockpit, it will stand out. Okay, so over here we got the bow section. I see through these holes that it has a center rib as well. And the idea is to fill this with some expanding foam for flotation and also for strength. So when I now take the transom, the mid section, and the bow. All right, so it needs some work to fit perfectly, but basically then you got a mini mono. And I've never built a boat so fast like this. Awesome. Okay, so this is the second bow section. I'm glad to see that it all arrived without any damage. Nice. And then what do we got here? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's just awesome. Some vodka. I guess I have to be careful drinking this. But I really appreciate it. Thank you. So this is the total overview of the package that I got from Raf. And the good thing is that Raf shares his design for free. I will put the link in the description. So if you have a printer and you want to build one yourself, to print one yourself, you can do so. Raf even made some very nice instructions how to assemble the boat. Yeah, I'm really impressed by them. Check out the link in the description. And if you have a 3D printer, go and print one yourself. And I would like to see your result. I'm also planning to give one of them away. So I will pay forward the gift from Raf to another viewer. So stay tuned for that giveaway. I got the hatch frame sanded and it's now nice and smooth on the outside. I got a recommendation to sand it before gluing the cockpit itself. Obviously it's easier to sand it like this with a sanding block. And if the cockpit would be glued, I could not sand it like this. It came out nice and smooth. So now it's time to assemble the cockpit. It's made from two parts. And they connect together with uh, three screws, which I have over here. And before I fully tighten the screws, I put some glue in between the two parts.
just like that we got a hatch. I gotta say, building a 3D printed boat goes pretty fast. And yeah, I like it. I like the shape. It fits perfectly. And uh, just with some CA glue, I glued it all together. And it feels pretty strong. So, very nice. The next job is assembling the hull itself, gluing the three pieces together. And in between the three pieces, there are, you can see here, some pinholes where a carbon rod is inserted to the next section, making it more strong. I got the transom and the midsection glued together. I used four of these carbon rods to connect uh, the both parts. And I have to say, it feels pretty strong and stiff. I just glued it with CA glue and it all came out really nice and strong. And also the two parts connect very well. I hardly feel uh, the seam. So it just needs light sanding and maybe uh, a little bit of filler to make it a nice and smooth hull. So together with the hatch, the bolt shape is getting visible. I'm going to fill up the bow sections with PU expanding foam. I already taped the front section so that I don't make a mess of it. And I'm going to fill them about halfway and then the expansion will be about twice, so finally they should be fully filled. A little bit more. The bow section is now drying, the PU foam, so I have to let that dry first before I attach it, obviously. So that will be for the next video. Okay guys, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the second episode. Bye!